All right, guys, so this really is a first look, a special look here at the Hyundai, it's the Veloster, Veloster, however you say it, I think it's Veloster, however you say that. I'm not a big Hyundai guy, but this car looks sweet. I mean, the paint job on this looks sweet. It's a brand new car. This is a pre-production model. So it's, it's similar to something like a Focus ST or a, a Golf uh, STI. You know, it's modeled off of those cars over there. Uh, but, you know, it, it, I think it's, I think he said, 275 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque or something uh, with greatly improved torque vectoring over, uh, I believe, their last gen or, or those uh, cars. So it's really going after the, the Golf GTI and, and the Focus ST and things like that. And I love the paint color, and I love these accents and this kind of two-tone look. Yeah, it just looks really, really cool. So, uh, you know, just taking a look at that. And then we'll go sit in here for a quick look at what's going on. So we'll just try and move the seat back. So they have no information for me on ter in terms of trim level, in terms of any of that, as these guys want to shoot out here. But um, we got, you know, the manual that, you know, I don't know what trim level this is. The guy couldn't tell me what trim level. They don't know. So, you know, he said that a lot of the upper level normal versions of this car, you know, they have leather seats and things. So this is just a pre-production model. You know, what you see here might not go into the full version, but I do have a lot of respect for Hyundai in the fact that they don't really offer any apps in, their, in this infotainment. They say, go Android Auto, go Apple CarPlay, that's it. You know, Ford with Sync 3, it seems like an okay system, but you know, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay can, can update themselves over time. And get better whereas you know your manufacturer system they they don't update very much so I do like that Hyundai says use your Android Auto use your Apple CarPlay and you know we're hands-off with it so it seems really 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 awesome from that standpoint uh, but in terms of the screen placement I think it could be a little bit bigger you know I'll go back here it seems like this screen could be a little bit bigger for the car that it's in and it does kind of jut up a little bit but you know the screen placement seems okay enough um, I do like in, the, in here we have a big huge drive mode button and then a checkered flag here which I'm assuming is going to be like a track mode or a racing mode um, and you know these buttons are equally sized and, and placed like right by your finger so y'all know while driving this car that you're driving something you know something that can race something that can do it. Um, manual transmission uh, I'm pretty sure that's the only transmission option for this car um, as you go through it. And then we just kind of have these cloth seats, which are, seem pretty comfortable sitting in. I would like a more rally-focused seat, uh, as we have the, the N or the NI or whatever that is. Um, you know, and we have another N here. So, and then we have this center screen. So it'll be interesting to see what they do with a more narrow screen there. Um, but really nice-looking car. Very impressed. Uh, bringing some competition to the hot hatch category. Again, this is a pre-production model. What you see here might not be present in the full version, but nice bolstering on the seats. Seems like a pretty good uh, pretty good vehicle that Honda is coming out with here. Uh, you know, no no word on starting price, no word on any of that. Uh, I really do like these brake, the calipers and the wheel accent on the rim there. That's really, really nice. And the red accent. This is probably a pre-production paint. Might not make its way to the full version, but you know, and, and props to Hyundai too for letting us in, letting us take a look at this uh, this vehicle because a lot of the new vehicles from other companies, the new trucks from Chevy, the Ford Ranger, things like that, they don't they don't let you take a look at these cars. But Hyundai says, hey, it's a pre-production model, but we'll let you look at it. So, you know, they're letting us take a look at this right here. Uh, really interesting car. Seems really really nice. Get a we'll get a, a side shot here. This is a four door too, so it, it doesn't have a rear door handle. But then it does open here, so we do have that. And then it looks like there's some cup holders in the rear, uh, and some even carbon fiber accents on whatever one this is. So really nice looking car. Um, I mean, it it looks really cool. You know, brings some competition to the hot hatch market. Hopefully moves forward forward. Uh, and other hot hatch makers to kind of keep doing that because I, I really like the hot hatch market in, in the United States. So uh, excited, excited for this. No word on starting price yet. Um, the guy from Hyundai on the floor said, uh, you know, he'd be surprised if it didn't come in around the same prices as the GTI and the Focus ST and those kinds of cars. So uh, let me know what you think about this down in the comments section below, guys.